Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to make another Crazy Current Events video, and this one talking about a story that I recently saw, which was pretty funny, and that was that a man had actually interrupted a live TV show in Germany to actually just talk about GTA 6 and demand GTA 6. Not joking, this really happened. Guy interrupts TV program to demand GTA 6. And I'll link the, um, uh, the channel that I found this on. There's a few channels that have this clip, so I'm not sure where it originally came from, but this this clip that I um, have right here, this appears to be one of the more popular ones. But anyways, the, the clip was translated, so I'll link that original video down below. But anyways, let's play it right here. Weil du, die halten nicht alle für total dumm, aber du bist eigentlich gar nicht so dumm. Oh, einen guten Tag, Herr Isa, mein Name. Ich würde gerne wissen, wo zur Hölle ist GTA 6? Ich warte immer noch auf GTA 6 seit acht Jahren. GTA 6? Genau. Da warte ich dazu. Oh, ich habe mich erschrocken. GTA 6, ich habe keine Ahnung, da müssen es ja irgendwann... Ist das es liegt doch nicht an mir, das müssen, wenn die Programme... Aber GTA ist doch ein Computerspiel, oder genau, nicht? Genau, GTA 6. Kenne ich nicht. Wir setzen am besten ein Zeichen, einmal in die Kamera schreien. Wo ist GTA 6? Nee, das brauche ich nicht, weil ich, ich habe ja, hab ja fünf noch nicht mal durch. Ja, wir sind irgendwann mal. Irgendwann mal. Ja. <lacht> Wurde der jetzt von Take Two bezahlt oder wer, wer macht das Spiel? Äh, wo waren wir stehen? So you guys can see, um, uh, this was on some kind of contest show. I don't know what this show is, so if any of you guys that watch my channel, if you guys are familiar with this show, let me know what type of show this is exactly. But audience member runs up and um, just starts demanding GTA 6. Now, um, I don't think this guy's crazy or dangerous by any means. I think it's, this was just a joke. Um, this was just meant for, you know, lols. Um, that was the whole point of it. So I thought it was kind of funny, you know, the guy just went on the show and just started demanding GTA 6. The host kind of went along with it. He's like, he's like, what, what, what is that? So at, at first you can see the, um, the female host, she got a little scared because, you know, when somebody comes up on stage, especially during this type of stuff, you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're planning on doing. Um, but uh, she quickly realized this guy was just talking about a video game and the host kind of went along with it He's like, what are you talking about exactly? And then he said that I didn't even finish GTA 5 So um, this is the first time that I've seen something like this where somebody actually interrupts a TV program to demand GTA 6 And actually the other day on AEW Wrestling a fan was actually holding up a sign in the background that actually said announce GTA 6 right now So that's hilarious, you know stuff like this. Um, this is hilarious. This is funny. However, though um, there are a lot of people I know out there that are really crazy when it comes to GTA 6 stuff, and there are people that are very unreasonable um, with demanding GTA 6. And how, I, how do I know this? You can just look, for instance, on Twitter. Just go on the Rockstar Games Twitter and look below the every single tweet that Rockstar makes, and almost every single tweet, no matter what it is, they will tweet stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with Grand Theft Auto, and people will still demand GTA 6 in the comments. Now, I understand that some comments are trolls, I obviously get that, but I could I I feel that a lot of these comments are also being pretty serious. So take a look at this, for instance. This is the this is one tweet that was actually from Rockstar Games the other day, and this was actually a Reddit online tweet. Now this tweet, you guys can clearly see, this has nothing to do with GTA 6 whatsoever. However, though, if we take a look at the comments. We can see some ridiculous comments, you know, demanding GTA 6. There's even people that are saying, um, you know, stop posting this game or I'm going to unfollow. I only want to see stuff about GTA or GTA 6. And I got comments very similar to this. Um, I remember like a year ago when I started expanding my channel into other games. And also even when I started playing Red Dead Online like years ago, I started getting comments like this saying, no, I don't want to see this. I only want to see um, uh, GTA um, uh, GTA um, 5 or I'm going to unsubscribe. So, you know, there are people that are very demanding, you know, when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, and there are people that are very demanding on GTA 6 specifically. They really are obsessed with this game, and I'm going to say that rushing this game out is going to ruin this game and destroy this game. GTA 6, it, the only thing that I can say about this game that I know for certainty is that Rockstar Games is going to make it. That is the only thing that I can say for certainty. There's nothing else that I can say for certainty. I can't say the location. I can't say when the game's going to come out. I can't say anything about the characters. You know why? Because I don't know. And a lot of people assume that because I'm a YouTuber, that somehow I know. I don't know. 
Nobody knows this. No stupid leaker knows this. The only people that know this stuff is Rockstar. Rockstar Games are the only people that know this type of stuff. They, they, they're the only ones that know when GTA 6 is going to come out. How do I know that GTA 6 is going to come out, even if there's no info about it? It's because it's their most popular game series of all time, and it will be a giant mistake for them not to release another GTA game. However, when they release another GTA game, it's probably going to be exclusive to the next-gen consoles. It's obviously going to be on PC, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's going to be on PS4 and Xbox One anymore. I think it's going to be on PS4. PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. That's at least my prediction for the next GTA game. So that's probably why it's taking so long. It's probably going to be their biggest map ever. There's going to be a lot of stuff to develop, a lot of characters, a lot of dialogue to record, probably a pretty big story, and they also have to set up an online. And I, I really don't like it how people, you know, um, uh, how people blame, for instance, they'll blame Red Dead Online for the lack of GTA 6, which I find kind of stupid, considering the fact that Reddit Online is still a pretty fresh game. You know, it's only been three years, but even in those three years, Reddit Online has barely gotten any content, and yet some people have the nerve to blame Reddit Online for GTA 6 being developed. I want to tell you something. If, if anything, do you know what the reason for GTA 6 being delayed, the reason for that game being delayed, is it's shark cards. It is shark cards. Rockstar, for instance, had story DLC planned originally for GT Online, but they never released that story DLC. You know why? Because they started making a ton of money from shark cards. I think even Rockstar was surprised on how much they were making from shark cards, and they say, oh, wow, we make all this money from the online. Screw a story DLC. We're just going to milk the online as much as we can. And don't get me wrong, there was a lot of good updates on GT Online. You know, we had great updates like Heist. Um, uh, you know, we had the businesses, the biker businesses, the CEO Cargo, Cayo Perico, Casino Heist. So, we had a lot of great um, DLCs along the way, don't get me wrong. However, though, um, GT Online is actually going to be reaching its eight-year point this October. October 1st, it'll be actually eight years old. And September 17th, this um, year, GTA 5 will actually be eight years old. So if anything, you know, these people that blame Red Dead Online for GTA 6 being delayed, don't blame Reddit Online. If anything, it's shark cards. Rockstar basically is thinking, you know, why should we put all this effort into making a new game? You know, why should why should we, you know, uh, start getting all these voice actors together and, you know, get a team together and start developing, you know, a whole new city and everything like that? Well, we could just keep making updates for GT Online and people are going to spend tons of money on shark cards and people are going to spend tons of money on shark cards even in between updates. So that's exactly the reason. I'm not saying don't play GT Online. That's not what I'm saying. I'm Go ahead, have fun playing GT Online. The only thing I'm saying is don't buy shark cards. If you want GTA 6 to come out, don't buy shark cards. It's, a, it's as simple as that. Because when Rockstar realizes they're making a lot less money from shark cards, they will be more inclined to make their next installment. So that's the reason that, I, that in my personal opinion, why I think GTA 6 has taken so long. It is because of shark cards. Now, moving on to another subject in relation to this. A year ago, I actually posted a video, which was top 5 worst GTA and Red Dead clickbait, and number 1 on that list, you guys might remember, I actually had GTA 6 um, clickbait as the number 1 reason on there, and, the number, and GTA 6 is the most clickbaited thing that I've ever seen, not just in regards to um, uh, GTA, but just in general. Out of all the clickbaity stuff that I've seen on YouTube, the GTA 6 leak crap, that is the worst um, a clickbait out of all of them. It is by far the worst. And even though I made that video a year ago just to point out how stupid it is, a year later, tons of people on YouTube are still milking these GTA 6 leaks. And these GTA 6 leaks are so stupid that almost every single week, there is some kind of GTA 6 leak. I'm not joking. Almost every single week, there's a new supposed GTA 6 leak. Rockstar X Rockstar Dev says this. Rockstar Insider says this. Rockstar voice actor supposedly leaks this. Take Two CEO teases GTA 6. Stupid crap like that. All of it is nonsense. It's all fake. It's not real. And these, um, a lot of these scummy YouTubers. And I'm not even gonna bring up these people's names. And I hate even talking about this because I said that I, you know, I don't talk about these YouTubers. I'm not even gonna address them by name. But it's not just one channel that's doing this. It's multiple channels that are doing this. They know that people. People are excited for, for GTA 6. They know that people want another GTA game. And so people are constantly researching stuff and looking stuff up for GTA 6. And so they basically look up these stupid leaks or sometimes probably even create these leaks themselves. And they constantly talk about them 
over and over and over again. And they will milk um uh milk their channel with these videos constantly gta 6 this and that that's why i never do any content on gta 6 on my channel because it's unreliable there is no evidence behind them i mean guys really think about this if you believe any of these gta 6 leaks ask yourselves this how long have these leaks been going on how long has this been this has been years these leaks have been going on for years and if you want to know how stupid this is, take a look at this, for instance. I don't even want to show the YouTuber's name here because I don't even want to give them attention. But look at this right here. It says, GTA 6 voice actor this and that. Talk blah, blah, blah this. And you guys remember what Ned Luke, the voice actor for Michael DeSanta, said last year? Let's play it right here. What, what was this? They said that GTA 6 is going to be made in Vice City. How do these people get all this information of what's going to be what? People, do you not understand? Do not believe anything that you see on the internet from, you know, uh, boss man, fuck the world or whatever his name is, or any of those guys. Don't listen to those guys. They have no inside information. They're just clickbait. And if you hear it from Rockstar, then you know. If you don't hear it from Rockstar, you don't know shit. So the guy who plays Michael DeSanta, one of the main characters in GTA 5, literally said, don't believe any of this stuff. The only stuff that's reliable is when it comes from Rockstar. When it comes from Rockstar, then you know it's reliable. And if any of these other leaks were real, they would be getting sued really badly. And not only that, but these YouTube channels that are constantly um, uh, spreading these leaks around, they would probably get takedown notices from Take-Two Interactive if these leaks were even remotely true. And the fact that they don't get any of that from Take-Two Interactive suggests to me that these leaks are all nonsense. But yet, it doesn't stop these YouTubers from constantly milking this stuff over a year later. And did you guys notice one thing about that? It says soon on GTA 6, soon right here. This is just from a few days ago, but from that exact same channel, we have another video 11 months ago, 11 months ago, almost one year, saying GTA 6 soon, 11 months ago. And I don't even have to, I don't even have to click on these videos to know that this is nonsense because there is no credible information on GTA 6 anyway, anywhere. So I'm sorry to bring up all, you know, that other extra stuff there, but I thought I'd, I would just tie that into this video right here because at the beginning, you know, when the guy interrupts the, the talk show, that's kind of funny, you know, it's just, you know, I think we can all agree. The guy wasn't, I don't think he was, he wasn't really being serious. He was just having a fun laugh with the hosts and the host went along with it. I don't think he should have jumped on the stage, you know, but, you know, it was harmless. You know, the guy wasn't planning to do anything bad. It was just a joke. Um, and, you know, like the sign at the wrestling um, match, also kind of funny, but, you know, when it comes to other stuff related to GTA 6, it's the people that are demanding it, want the game rushed out, and if Rockstar rushes out GTA 6, it's going to end up like Cyberpunk. Remember what happened when people kept demanding Cyberpunk and that game got rushed out? It wasn't, it didn't end well. And trust me, you don't want that happening to GTA, um, uh, to GTA 6. So, you know, the only thing I can say is, you know, be patient. And if you don't, and don't believe this clickbait garbage, because the only time that it's any of it is reliable is when you're going to see it from Rockstar. That's the only time it's going to be reliable. If you want GTA 6 to come out faster, stop buying shark cards. It's as simple as that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did drop a like, let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.